Estate. Okay, good afternoon, folks. Larry Pesavento with the mid-morning update or mid-afternoon update. I forget that it's morning here and afternoon there. Got the stock market up strongly, folks. S and P up 34, Nasdaq up 190, the Dow Jones up 225, and the Russell up uh, 22 points. Very, very strong. Bond market is basically bonds and notes are basically unchanged. The U.S. dollar is getting massacred, folks. Have a high of 110 in the euro, believe it or not. This thing was 105 just about three weeks ago, and you can see the kind of move that we've had here. This has sent gold into the stratosphere, folks. We've got gold up $30. It's hit as high as 2063, and silver is up 50 cents, approaching $27 an ounce. And the premium on buying silver, folks, if you want to buy silver, is 16%. I never in my wildest dreams had ever think that would happen. It was usually 3 or 4% for all these years. There's just nothing for sale from what people tell me, and I have to agree with what they're saying. The prices are telling us that, that things look like they want to go a whole lot higher. So that's what we're paying attention to today. We've had some very strong, strong action, of course, in all of the foreign currencies, the Japanese yen, the British pound, the Canadian dollar, and the Australian dollar, all very, very strong. And with the, that move to the upside, it puts the dollar index to the downside. Another very, very relief thing that we've heard about with our inflation now uh, going minus, believe it or not, 0.5 was the uh, minus half a percent as opposed to being uh, unchanged to uh, up a little bit. So the inflation is no longer a problem. You're sure you're going to have your eggs back at a dollar twenty-nine a dozen very shortly, and if you believe that, I still have two shares of the Brooklyn Bridge. Also, crude oil is actually down for the first time in six days. We got as high as that eighty-three forty-four level, and it's backed off a little bit. It's only down about a dollar a barrel right now. So that's what we're watching. So stay tuned for trade what you see Fibonacci twenty-four-seven. We're going to go down memory lane and. Talk about some of the things that have happened to me in the past and share some charts that we're looking at. So I hope you'll be able to join us. And if you'll stay tuned, we're going to be able to help you in just about three minutes. So we'll be right back, folks. <laughs> 